Tipple Time is brought to you in part by Perfect Puree of Napa Valley and Maison Ferrand. Here yet again for another Tipple Time with me, Jonathan Pogash. Uh, tipple Time! ba da ba 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 Tipple Time! I don't know. Um, I'm feeling a little silly, and that's probably because I have one of my favorite rums here as our beautiful ingredient in this cocktail. Uh, this is a classic variation on a daisy, a rum daisy. And this, my friends, is plantation pineapple rum. Um, and it is actually an homage, well, to hospitality because if the pineapple is the symbol of hospitality and uh, Tales of the Cocktail, we have what's called the Cocktail Apprentices and they help out with all of the activations at Tales. And this was really created as a thank you to them uh, by um, my good friend, Alexandre Gabriel, and of course, cocktail historian and amazing mixologist, Dave Wondrich. We'll just go right into making uh, this classic variation on a daisy. Now, a daisy is a classic sour with some sort of uh, liqueur added to it, and generally uh, lime or lemon. I'm using lemon as the citrus in this. So we will go ahead and do one ounce in there, and we're going to do another ounce. So that's two ounces if you're counting there at home. Uh, and, well, you know, Sometimes I forget things. I'm very forgetful, as you can probably uh, tell from seeing some of these uh, videos. So just give me one second. Uh, here's my cocktail coupe glass. Oh, how embarrassing. How embarrassing, really. No, it's okay. Um, all right. So uh, as another ingredient, instead of my uh, liqueur as the modifier here, I'm using the perfect puree of Napa Valley apricot puree, which gives a really nice um, savory yet delicate uh, balance to this cocktail. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a shake. So these purees come frozen and then you can thaw it out and use it as is. Great for uh, bars and restaurants. You can get a free sample using the link that we're including. And I'm adding three quarters of an ounce of the Perfect Puree of Napa Valley Apricot Puree. And to balance everything out and to kind of round out the flavors, I have a lemon sour that I pre-made and I like to make sour mix at home and put it in the refrigerator and uh, it'll last about a week or a week and a half. This is just lemon juice and agave nectar and a little bit of water to kind of thin things out a little bit. So I'm adding one ounce and then another half ounce. So that's one and a half ounce. Uh, you know, did you all know that there is math involved in cocktail making? I, I never would have thought that. Well, first of all, I never would have thought that this is what I would be doing uh, when I was in grade school and growing up, uh, but I'm using my math skills, and right now I am using my ice scooping skills to add ice to my mixing glass, and I'm taking my tin and popping it on top, and another shaken cocktail. You know, I think the next one we'll do a stirred cocktail. How about that? Or maybe two cocktail, two triple times from now. We'll give it, let's give it a shake. Okay, I'm using my arm muscles, I'm shaking above my shoulder, and you may remember the saying that I always go by, shake it awake, don't rock it to sleep. Okay, there we go. And smile, uh, shake your face. Are you smiling? Are you not smiling? Are you grinning? That's your shaker face, right? I mean, I like to, I like to smile, even though, I, even if I'm in a little bit of a bad mood, uh, just putting a smile on your face kind of gets you back into a better mood, doesn't it? Am I right or am I right? Okay, here we go. Beautiful daisy cocktail. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a taste. Hold on. Oh, it smells really nice. I love that plantation pineapple and the perfect puree apricot. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is a really nicely balanced cocktail. It would probably work really well with food. I'm getting some really nice savory notes. A little bit of cumin in there as well. There's no cumin, but I kind of get that in my palate. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, thanks as always. This is uh, yet again another tipple time and cheers to you and to yours. Tipple time is brought to you in part by Maison Ferrand and Perfect Puree of Napa Valley.